We're going to pick up the action up in Jasper as Deweyville took on West Sabine. And yeah, check out that line. It's playoff time. Everybody wants a ticket for this one. West Sabine with the ball. Quentin Smith's going to find a Hunter Murphy for the West Sabine touchdown. The Tigers have a losing record, but don't let that fool you. Later on, blocked field goal, though, extra point, I should say, going the other way. So the Deweyville defense comes up as the Pirate loves that one. Now, Ryan Bland taking it in for a Deweyville touchdown. And here come the Pirates. They're going to go for two. Can they get in? No. That West Sabine defense comes up with a stop. Speaking of stops by the defense, how about Deweyville? The Pirates bringing the heat. We got a ball on the ground. That could have been a huge turnover, but West Sabine is going to hold on to the ball. Deweyville with the ball again, and guess who? It's Ryan Bland rushes this one down to the one yard line. He is nearly in, but can't quite make it. And Bland is going to take it in for the touchdown. The two point conversion after this one though, would be no good. Now, West Sabine with the ball. Blaine Bork has got it, and he's got himself a touchdown. Tigers starting to pull away at this point. They're going to go for two, and guess what? No, it would not be good, but West Sabine would keep on dishing it. Quentin Smith to Jacorian Walker. He pushed out as a one-yard line as the clock hit zero there. As we go to the final, though, wild finish. West Sabine has eliminated Deweyville. Final there was 40 to 38.